Good morning guys. I am at Hugo Lake in Oklahoma and it just finished raining and a drop just fell on my camera. <laughs> anyway, um, just staying one night, or we did stay one night and we're on our way to New Mexico and we had nice, nice rain this morning. It was just wonderful. Look at this lake. This is a Corps of Engineers um, campground, and they have two prices. This is 30 amp, and it's $18 a night. And then they have another part that is 50 amp, and it's like on the lake, but it doesn't really have any trees. So this is $18 a night, and over there it was $22 a night. And I did find this campsite on freecampsites.net. And they did mention on the website that in the off season that it is free camping. But I'm going to disagree and show you why here in a minute. It's about 78 degrees right now, I think. Not too bad, a little humid beautiful there's two campers one right there and one over there and there's the travel trailer and I got me a kayak I don't think I've mentioned that yet on the channel I've stayed at two lakes now and I haven't put it in the water we got here kind of late yesterday and after getting set up I just didn't feel like trying to figure out where to Put my kayak in because I can't get to the water from here. Beautiful place. I will stay here again. No doubt. Okay, this is why I would say that camping in the off season is not free. However, they people have scratched out the, the price. But, um, this doesn't say just in the off season or during the busy season. So you're to get a envelope out of here, put your check, and then deposit it here. So anytime you see a self-registration, that doesn't mean that it's free. So I just want to put that out there and I will post this on the freecampsites.net so people don't come here and think that um, you don't have to pay because clearly you do and I knew that here they have the price that you can read 18 and 22 I just want to post that and I'm gonna update or make a post on freecampsites.net so people are aware that this is not a campsite that is free just in the off season. It looks to me like it's not free at all. But it's a beautiful place. Uh, they have a water and electric and then they have a dump station. But I'm going to go hook up the travel trailer and move on down the road. Headed towards New Mexico. And I didn't mention, but I wanted to, but they do have the, it looks like a brand new vault toilet. The sites are maintained really well, so. Very happy staying here. It was a great, great place. Let me just say that this is not the safest thing to do. I used to have a, a socket that just fit on my drill, but it went with my last travel trailer. So I will be getting that, but for now, you know, do what works. The beauty these days in hooking up a travel trailer is that you have a backup camera 
so this is so much easier than used to be in the day. Now I do like to turn off my lines here so I can just see the ball. These are a new type of sway bar that I'm not familiar with, but after watching YouTube, you're just to extend it all the way up until this reaches up there, which sometimes it's a long way. They do have a little helper bar. Okay, it is all hooked up and checked. Chains are connected, lights. Are connected as you can tell the lights are on and all I need to do on the outside is unhook the water look at this the only thing is the water's way over there and I had to use two water hoses to hook it up anyway that's why I pretty much need two water hoses two and two electrical cords because you never know where they put these utilities in these parks Look over here to the right. There is a huge bull on the side of this hill. <laughs> now that's big. 